to welcome and kick off the conference this morning. I have another title of Barclays, and that's CGO, the gay officer. <laughs> We are so delighted with the diversity in this room. We want you to be able to leverage everything that makes you who you are. What's our theme here? Leadership is inside out. It's about how you show your absolute most genuine self. There's this little niggling thing saying, oh God, why do I have to have a personal brand? That sounds terrible. <laughs> your personal brand is a synonym for your reputation. Who am I, and how can I make sure that the world understands that that is awesome? <laughs> that is what it is. I do believe, and I, and I hear it from clients every day, that diverse teams make better decisions. Our diversity can help get us in the door a lot of times if we are using it correctly. I hope you're proud to be here. Your company thinks enough of you to send you here for two days to ideally engage, create a bigger sense of community, and hopefully go forward and succeed. We decided that we had a fun opportunity to run a hackathon. And the Colette Fund, which is a leading LGBT foundation, has given us a $10,000 grant. The winner is going to be given the $10,000 to allocate to nonprofit organizations working in the space that their solution focuses on. Do not let anyone tell you that this is not how it's done in this region. You'll embarrass us, you'll fall. Well, sometimes you will embarrass them and sometimes you will fall. But literally, if you set your mind to a vision and it has a moral force behind it, anything can be done. I have the pleasure of introducing Jim Obergefell. Jim was the uh, lead plaintiff in the Supreme Court case that secured marriage equality for everybody in this room. I knew what was happening was simply wrong, and I had to fight to make it right. And it was standing up for the commitments I made to my husband. But it became so much bigger. I don't think anyone ever says to you, hi, I'm your mentor, like, nice to meet you, right? <laughs> um, being an outsider feels different, and you know that every day when you walk in. And I think there's this idea that when you get to a certain place <laughs> with a certain title, it's going to feel better. And the truth of the matter is, sometimes it feels worse. The process of coming out is the greatest and still the most important thing that we all can do. It's the most profound thing I've ever done. Um, and it's, it was the scariest thing I've ever done. I think my relationships are better when you're totally honest with everybody. It makes a real difference in all aspects of your life. I look at marriage equality as just another step along that path because now people who have never met a married gay couple, a married lesbian couple, well, guess what? They're going to be meeting them and they're going to come to realize you know what? they really aren't that different from us. We would not have marriage equality as quickly as we did if it wasn't for Ken Melman. I want to take this opportunity to publicly say thank you, my friend. Thank you very, very much for what you've done to get us to this place. My mother told me of the miracle I was, said I could grow up to be anything I want. I decided to be a boy. Hopefully you've got a, an idea in mind which team you think not only did the best presentation, had the best idea, but hopefully the team that will be able to best implement. All right, are you ready? Congratulations. About 40 to 50 percent of homeless youth identify as LGBT. There's a lot of shelters, there's a lot of nonprofit organizations that exist to help these kids. And what we identified as one of the biggest problems is that they just don't know about it. What we could do is really make an awareness campaign. Um, we, we likened it to kind of raising the gay bat signal to say, you know, here's a safe space and here's where you can get information. There are steps forward, there are steps back. As a society, as a culture, we have to work together with everyone to move us all forward. Yeah.